We're at the final home stretch, guys, of the 30 days, 30 prospects feature. We're at day 26. Let's jump into it. Have they ever seen another like me living giant type step in your house above my head on when you're still inclined out of the bottomless pit to let the truth slip and slide off my tongue and swine dive off my lips no longer hold no I'm tired of applying the grip forget the fancy shiny rappers I'm supplying the gifts I feel it's only right to tell you that I'm going in Showtime hey it's your boy Big Mike Raider and we're here for another video we are wrapping up the 30 days 30 prospect series we're at day 26 or today we're covering quarterback Stetson Bennett. This is a quarterback who has paved the way, forged himself to success. This is a guy who started from the very bottom, junior college level, walk on to Georgia, found his way into the starting spot and never let it go. It's a special quarterback, great uh, intangibles, great mindset. Uh, he brings a lot to the table. He is a little bit small, but... If the Raiders can pick him up in the later rounds, this might be a, a, a special move for us, guys. Now, before I jump into this video, I need for you guys to like the thumb, hit the sub, and share with your folks. Big Mike Raider. We're almost at 700 subscribers, guys. I thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for your love. And if this is your first time checking out this video or checking me out, please don't let it be your last time and go tell your folks about it. Now, guys, let's jump into this video. Quarterback Stetson Bennett has forged the path to success in these past couple of years, often knocking down the figurative walls that have been placed in front of him. Bennett began his college career at the junior college level as a two-star recruit coming out of high school, making the most of the opportunity given to him. In 2019, he then joined the Georgia Bulldogs as a walk-on. After two seasons in a backup role, Bennett once again took advantage of an opportunity after being placed in the starting role as a result of season-ending injury to a highly regarded quarterback, JT Daniels. From there, he never looked back, leading Georgia to their first national championship in over 40 years. In 2022, he topped his performance as the undisputed starter, throwing for 3,430 yards on an elite 67.8% completion rate. This performance earned himself a nod as a finalist for the Heisman Trophy and back-to-back -back national titles. Bennett displays intangibles to be a solid NFL quarterback, with adequate arm strength, and the ability to make all NFL-level throws. Additionally, he also possesses a high IQ for the game, often making the correct pre-snap changes at the line. Bennett also wowed the evaluators at the scouting combine, displaying a level of athleticism that many did not know he possessed. At the combine, he ran a 4.67-second 40-yard sprint and impressed, adding a 9-foot, 10-inch broad jump on the field. Bennett also has a quick, crisp release, which helps him avoid taking sacks. Also, when you consider his winner's mentality and his undeniable ability to be a team leader, there's not much to dislike about the quarterback. However, there are glaring weaknesses. Bennett is just a smidge over 5'11 and 190 pounds, which is listed as one of the smaller quarterback prospects in combine history. Moreover, many experts believe that he can struggle with staying healthy and upright without an elite offensive line, such as the one that protected him at Georgia. Bennett's arm strength is not ideal, often throwing lobs and helium balls when the dart is needed. Bennett also works, must also work on his mechanics while being pressured. All in all, it is hard to deny the intangibles that Bennett brings to the table. Additionally, you can count on a coach like Josh McDaniels to mold the quarterback in his image, as he has had an extensive history of getting the most out of a young quarterback over the years. Moreover, Bennett has proven time and time again that he will optimize his potential and is very receptive to coaching. Considering the circumstances, this seemingly is an ideal fit for both parties. Look for the Raiders to have Bennett on their radar to be selected at 174 or number 204 overall. Guys, look at his look at this film. He throws great balls. He's a winner. Um you know, the, yeah, you can't argue that he had the elite of the elite uh, college players on his team. Look at the tight end. He blows past all the defenders. You could argue and say that it wouldn't take uh, the greatest quarterback in the world to kind of get it to these receivers and running backs. However, 
you can't deny his winner's mentality, his ability to to overcome adversity, the the uh, what's the word, the resilience that he shows that that he shows um, that he's shown over the years to go from a junior college prospect to an NFL prospect in a matter of years, guys. This is a guy who has an upside. He wants to work. He wants to work hard, and he's going to do what it takes to be that NFL level quarterback. I think that he is a special kind of quarterback that could probably be a a a um a lifetime backup in this in this uh in this um in this league. Um upside, maybe he might be the next Brock Purdy. That is kind of asking a lot from him. But considering the fact that he went from Juco to a walk on, found his way to a starting spot and succeeded Who's to say that he can't do that at the NFL level? It's hard to it's it's hard to deny the things like that. I mean, this guy has a mentality to get it done every time. Guys, what do you think about grabbing Stetson Bennett in the fifth round, possibly early sixth round? Let me know what you guys think about it. I like Stetson Bennett as a prospect. He's a, he's real small. He is 25 years old, so he I mean, quarterbacks these days can play a lot longer. So, you know, 25 isn't old, but you would like to see him at like 22, 23. But you might not get the same guy. You might not get the same Stetson Bennett at age 22 or 23. Maybe he needed to mature. Maybe he needed, you know, things to happen in his life for him to kind of wake up and max out his potential, optimize his potential. So I'm not going to uh, talk about his age. He's going to be 26 by the time the season starts. Oh, well. If anything, we have a solid backup quarterback to learn this offense and 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 be that next guy that masters this offense. You never know. Guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. With that, guys, that is the video. We are wrapping up this whole thing. Tomorrow we're at day 27, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Catch you later. Peace out. Have they ever seen another like me living giant type Step in your house above my head on when you're still inclined Out of the bottomless pit to let the truth slip and slide off my tongue and swine Dive off my lips, no longer hold on, I'm tired of applying the grip Forget the fancy shiny rappers, I'm supplying the gifts I 